The scale of, of Hurricane Irma was nothing like I've seen before. We were tracking the movement of the storm from time it entered the Eastern Caribbean. That is Irma Terry across the island of Anguilla, a Category 5 storm right now, winds of 175 miles an hour. On the island of Barbuda, nearly every building and home damaged or destroyed. And as we come on the air tonight, Irma is now plowing into Turks and Caicos, the most dangerous side of this hurricane hitting there. I have never seen a hurricane with the intensity of Irma before, and I've been through uh, other um, hurricanes like Ivan and Cayman in 2004. The the good thing with Irma, and the very good thing, if there's anything good about Irma, is moving very fast and very quickly. But the intensity, the four or five or so hours that it was over the Turks and Caicos Islands, I have never seen anything like that before. Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 storm, caused extensive damage across the Turks and Caicos Islands, destroying infrastructure and ripping apart homes. The Fortis response was rapid and comprehensive. Within 48 hours, boots were on the ground. Fortis has its group of companies, has what we call the FOG group, uh, Fortis um, Operation Group. And when there's a hurricane that threatens any of the subs, or any, so we have a situation that, th that threatens any of the subs, that group starts to meet. And we started to send posting to that group saying that we were tracking the storm. That then triggers certain action within the FOTUS group and they start to mobilize. We went through that whole process of identifying personnel, of identifying equipment, of the whole logistics of getting people down here because we wanted to get down here very quickly and hit the ground running. So chartering planes, the whole logis the logistics. FOTUS group of companies does this very well. There's no other group of companies that does this better than FOTUS. What we see is the strength of Fortis on display. The resources, the personnel, the, the, the wave of thought to respond quickly. We were the first emergency response team underground in the Turks and Caicos Islands after the hurricane. That is the strength of Fortis. And I want to say thank you to all of the crews who left their families, who left the utilities in their cities to come here to help us. We need their help, that's what I know. If this country is going to bounce back quickly, it means that we have to restore electricity quickly. Electricity is essential to the return of the country to business as usual. And the quicker we can restore electricity, hotels are already publishing their reopening date, and they're doing that with the confidence they have in Fortis, because that's key. Electricity is key. So what do I want to say to the group of companies? What can I say? But thank you. This country needed you, and you have responded, and we thank you. <laughs>